Good evening, everyone. It's JJ Tooley here, and welcome to the final, the last and final episode, Salt and Sanctuary. Today, we're going up against the god of this island, the evil entity behind all of this, the god or evil thing that was trapping travelers and knights and people from all across the entire world in this story dragging them all to one place with similar buildings and objects of history from each of these islands. This is a grim end, honestly. It's a pretty dark, pretty sad. But you know what you have to do? Do you have to kill the god of this island? Now, I know this final episode was long overdue in the wake, King. But the actual issue was I thought I was recording my previous fight with the final boss. In which I wasn't, and I had to hit a new game plus. Punishing myself for this, I had to run through every single boss again, and the game was harder. Very, very hard. So it did take me a while. I have enraged at this game and broke my display this one time. That's a story for another day. So as you know, it's taken me so long to do this. I have acquired the best armor, the, I think, and the best weapons so far. This Trinity Greatsword was created by the Ear of the Great Knight. One of the pieces from one of the Forgotten King as we fought in the last episode. And the tainted gauntlets and armor set are from special set of mobs that actually had it. And it requires class 5 heavy armor. The heaviest in the game. This is a very, very strengthy build. And as you can see, I have my great shield. This can take almost no damage whatsoever if you've seen in some of my videos because I've upgraded it and my armor and weapons to the max. But honestly, this will not be enough to handle the new game plus. It's, uh, it's pretty difficult. But we're here to prove that wrong and kill the boss. My playthrough through this game was pretty fun. I'd give it a... 5 out of 10 or something. 6, 7. Because the boss patterns were kind of repetitive. I already knew what to do. There was nothing I really had to pay attention for. And we're here in the boss room. But I'd like to give it some points for exploration. That was pretty damn fun. Going through, looking through places, hearing what NPCs had to say about these similar places connected to each other, and supposing that the boss is an actual demon. So here we are at the end, where we take this great fall and face this boss. Let's do this. The Nameless God. This is gonna be the most difficult fight I've ever had. Let's do this. Come on! Ah, oh, shit. Oh. Bring it on! Oh shit, this kick is so strong. Damn it. This is already bad enough, oh dear. Come on, do something. Oh, damn it, it caught me. Look at the blood! Oh my gosh. Damn it. Holy. I staggered him. What a hit. Oh, 
Oh god. This is so difficult. How am I doing this? Oh boy. Bring it on. Just gotta repair myself real quick. There you go. We should be good. Aw, oh, damn it, he caught me! Damn it. No, not the glitch. I'm glitched, I'm stuck in the wall. What on earth? How do I get out of this? I'm just taking damage. What the heck? <sighs> we try this again. But... Eh, we try again. It was a pretty good one last game. Last try. Okay. Damn it. Dang. What we do know is that we have to stick away from the walls. Because if I get punched into the wall, I'm stuck. Bring it on. Holy shit. Damn. That was a slash between men. How does that not reach him? Huh? What the? Okay, I could stagger him even in that state. Okay. There you go. Bring it on. Halfway there. Ay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Staggered him. <sighs> Come on. This is gonna determine everything. Fuck. Ah. I took it like a man. No, not again. Not again. I made it. I'm alive. Bring it on. Foolish god. Ah. Let's poison this. Bring it on. One more set of attacks. Come on. I staggered him. Oh boy. Ha! No. Ooh. <laughs> I'm doing 10, 20, 30 damage. Take that. Damn it! We cross swords. This is the finale, I think. Ah, no! No! Come on. That's it! No, it's not! Eat! F final set! Dead! We got him! We got him! Oh my god. We actually finished the game. We beat it. We beat Salt and Sanctuary. Ladies and gentlemen, we have beaten the game. But for me, it's been a second time on a new game plus. This is the same account with a higher difficulty. And I've done it. Now, I want to show you guys what happens at the end. It's dark. Let's light it up.
Welcome to the end, people. We've done it. Now there's this well. The option to get freedom or run away. And here's what's behind it. Thy will be God. You have the option to become a god of this game. The ruler of this island, but you are trapped here forever. What else are in these bottles? Sad soul, impossible, hope safe, I end doom. Whatever that was. Probably left by other players. But this is Huh. This is strange. This is supposed to be where the evil god's true body lies. And I am forced to either run away or go down the path of evil, granting me the armor and sword of the nameless god. What is very odd here is that I don't find it again. I do not see the nameless god, which is strange. My only option out is through this well. Everyone, I'd like to thank y'all for sticking with me for this long. It's really been fun. You know, I still don't know what I want to do on YouTube yet, but having playthroughs is, I guess, one way to start. And Salt and Sanctuary was the first game I wanted to do it with, because it's one of the 2D games I kind of like. With all that ado, I thank everyone for watching. We escape the island and choose the good ending yet again. Everything is gone. My sword. I believe my shields too. No, I still have it. But I swim. Swim for a brighter day. Swim for better hopes. Going back to the world I once belonged to. So I could live a proper life. This is Salt and Sanctuary, everyone. Thank you for sticking around for so long. Strangled Roots. In blackest sea. Shed chains of steel. Till vines grow free. Thank you everyone for sticking with me this long. Really, I appreciate it.